Hello everyone. My name is Max and I go as Saltwater Max on TreasureNet.com. That's Saltwater underscore Max. And I'm at TreasureNet Forum. Um, I'm here making my first video, so we're going to see how this is work. You know, see how this is going to work out. And I plan on uh, making more videos as long as uh, uh, I start getting a little better at them each time. And, and you guys like these. But uh, I use a MindLab 3030, and I also use the XP Deos. And uh, I enjoy doing a lot of uh, Civil War hunting and uh, uh, old coin and jewelry and that type of thing there. So uh, I'm gonna gonna kind of go through a couple of my um, uh, finds with you that I found for with for with the XP Deos uh, in the last two weeks. Um, I have found things uh, an inch to the ground to. 11 inches in the ground. Um, I did find a uh, GAR badge, uh, which is um, a piece of, one. it's one of two, it's supposed to have a piece of ribbon that's got the American flag on it, and then it's going to have um, an eagle bearing cannons, but that was given to the Civil War soldier after the Civil War as a Medal of Honor. Uh, that was on its side, uh, right at seven inches in the ground. Uh, I found these World War I error toys. Um, one was about seven inches, the other was four inches. Um, they are made of lead, and uh, they picked it up with no problem at all. Got a group of wheat pennies over here. Um, I've gotten... Um, Oh, a, a star on here. It says Roy Rogers on here. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a lot of deep signals. Um, here's a small cuff button. This was about six and a half inches in the ground. It says SC on there. Uh, research said it was a Civil War uh, cuff link button from South Carolina. So anyway, well, let me get the day off and kind of introduce you to the settings that I've been using. I don't know if you are familiar with the XP DAOS, but it is a fully wireless uh, metal detector. You have the wireless coil right there. You also have um, the wireless uh, remote and you have the wireless headphones which come in the back size like these or they also come in the full size headphones. Um, the control unit just slides right on here and you can keep that on there and um, use it as a regular detector uh, or you can take it off and put it in your pocket you don't even have to use this you can use these headphones and not have these and still be able to use your metal detect as a beep and dig machine so let me show you the settings that I have gone through yeah, and I am having pretty good luck with these. Um, I'm going to first turn it on. And I'll put this speaker, yes. Okay. Now we're going to, I go into um, my frequency, which is 11.6. You have basic 1. You have, basic, you have GM 2. You have Deos Fast, you have 4 Pitch, you have 5 G Max. I have taken this 5 G Max and I've modified it. I'll show you what I've done. You have 6, which is Relic, you have Wet Beach, and your 8th one is Day Beach. And your ninth one is basic two, and this is actually a pretty good one to start with too. But then you have the ten, which is the gold field. Now on each of these programs, they're programmed in with different frequencies. My program that I'm in right now, I'm in 11 uh, kilohertz is what I'm in right now. now I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to turn the sensitivity down being that I'm in the house. 
So I'm going to go to menu and I am going to scroll down to sensitivity and I normally keep it about 80 but I'm going to bring it on down a little bit. That's why it's not so noisy in the house. Okay. Now I'm going to go back so I can keep showing you what I'm doing. Now how I got this program is I went to the GMAX too and then I went into my menu and I did some uh, changes. Um, usually 180, we've brought it right down right now. I do my frequency, I like 11.7, it just kind of follows the middle of the road of them all. I go to iron, volume 3, um, I usually keep it about two. On that program, I set it at three because I was in some pretty high iron areas. That was deep iron. My reactivity, I keep it three. And I also go with the audio at three. I haven't notched anything out, but I have put my discrimination on 45 because the area that I'm in contains a lot of pull tabs and other things. So, I've gone through the settings that I've had on there. I do want to show you one thing else then, and I'm going to have to scroll back to the discrimination. On the discrimination, I went the discrimination, then I went to expert, and I put five tones on there. I've also adjusted my tones as well. Um... Now, um, this star, this badge that I got, was on its side, 10 inches in the ground. Let's see here. Well, we do have to remember that I did bring the depth down, but I had a good solid 80-81 when I was getting it, and that was about 10 inches in the ground. Now, the... Um, the uh, air testing is showing a little different than the way it really acted. But uh, it was pretty impressive to uh, have dug this uh, South Carolina button right near it as well. As, long, as well as with, that was all in iron. <clears throat> um, I found this little sterling silver knife. It was close to 11 inches in the ground. This little pig, little metal pig, 10 inches in the ground. This tie clip was about two and a half as inches in the ground, but it also had a rose head square nail in there. You can see some of the finds that I've been finding. And like I said, this is just two weeks in one yard. I will start bringing my videos live into the action of metal detecting and we'll start doing some testing. I will try to improve on my videos and I do hope you like this.